Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kompor, Malaysia. In this video, I want to talk about why I love using smaller cameras and lenses for my photography. Let's do this. I'm currently out in the park. This park is really near where I stay, so it's very convenient for me to come here and make videos. But the problem is sometimes the insects, I think they are cicadas or crickets, they can scream really loud. And they can scream non-stop. I've been waiting for about half an hour for them to stop, but they're still screaming. So I hope that the audio is not too distracting. The shoot goes on. I want to share my opinion in this video. Before we start, let me just say that my opinion is subjective. We are all different photographers. We do different kind of photography. What I'm sharing may or may not work for you, but I want to talk about using smaller camera system. I love smaller cameras and lenses. They have worked so well for the photography that I do. And I think that my sharing will benefit some of you out there and it will be applicable to the photography that you do. I am shooting with Micro Four Thirds system, which is known to be really portable. They have compact cameras and lenses. But this video is not just about Micro Four Thirds, it's not just about Olympus, OM system, or Panasonic cameras and bodies. I'm talking generally about using smaller cameras and lens combination for professional photography jobs, as well as for personal projects. It is not just about, oh, is Micro Four Thirds better than full frame or APS in no. No, this is not about it. I'm speaking in general terms. I prefer using smaller cameras and lenses. The main reason I'm making this video is to address a common comment. People are saying, Robin, you don't look like you, are, you cannot handle larger cameras or lenses. You are not that skinny and you look like you're physically capable to handle, say, full frame cameras and large lens like the 7200. Uh, why are you complaining so much? Why are you against using all these larger cameras and lenses? They bring benefits. Yes, I don't disagree. Larger cameras and lenses, there are some benefits benefits in using them uh, in some situations. I do think that if you need these larger lenses or cameras, go for them. But for my photography, my Grow Four Thirds system, they have been more than sufficient. And here are some of the benefits of actually using smaller, more compact and lighter camera bodies as well as lens system. The main reason I love using smaller cameras and lenses for my photography is agility, ease of movement. I do a lot of event photography, I do weddings, I do stage shooting, I do music and concert, I also do a lot of portraits. And in all these photography jobs that I do, I have to move a lot. Say I'm shooting a stage, I have to run from one end to another, and then I have to go into the crowd, I have to go near the stage, away from the stage, I have to climb to higher spots to get a different series of photographs, because a tip to create a stronger series of photographs is to get a variety of shots from different locations and you have to move a lot. I treasure having a smaller and lighter camera and lenses. It's so much easier to move. Now I remember the first time I actually used a mirrorless camera. It was the EM5 original but I gotta say that the EM5 was not ready for professional use. EM1 was perhaps the first true professional camera for micro four thirds. EM5 was almost there, but it's not there yet, but I did use the EM5 for the shoot. Uh, camera performance aside, I actually really treasure the compactness of the camera and the compactness of the prime lenses that I use for the shoot. And man, I thought to myself, I really need to downsize. Of course, when Eon came, I jumped straight into mirrorless and never looked back. There are situations where I shoot in tight places where if the lens is a bit too large and too long, I can bump the lens on the wall, on the door, I can knock it accidentally, or am I shooting in a crowded space? Yes, I shoot in a position where there is a lot of people around me. It's just so hard to move if your camera and lenses are so large. Trust me, in a lot of situations, especially if you have to move, you have to be quick on your feet, having a smaller, lighter camera system, it really helps. Because my cameras and lenses are so small, 
The bags that I use to carry with me to my shoots, they are also a lot smaller. I usually only carry a large messenger bag. In the messenger bag, I can fit two camera bodies and maybe four to five different lenses. I can also fit my flash. I've talked about how I pack for a wedding shoot before. I'll put the link to the video up here. Please check it out. It also amazes me and I almost wanted to laugh. I am so evil. But every time I see someone brought like a huge luggage, right? Like super large luggage, you have to drag it around with like super long, humongous lenses and cameras. The luggage must have weighed like, I don't know, 15, 20 kilos. And they have to park the luggage at one end and to carry a smaller bag with like a camera with one lens attached. And whenever they need to find whatever item in the bag, they have to quickly run to the luggage and get the thing out of it. It is just so not convenient. I can move with my small bag because in the bag I can pack everything and they all weigh about less than five kilos kilograms, two camera bodies, professional camera bodies, five lenses and a flash and they all weigh maybe just five kilograms or so. I really love that. I love I don't have to pack so much. I love that I can just have a bag with me. And here is the problem, right? I know that in other countries, it's a lot safer. You can just bring a luggage of gear and dump it at the corner and don't look at it. But in Malaysia, Theft is a big problem. If people see that there is a huge luggage with lenses and expensive gear in there unattended, trust me, it will not stay there forever. So having my messenger bag with me, with all my gear with me all the time secure, I don't have to worry about it. I can shoot with peace of mind. It really helps. I really love that because the lenses are so small, I can change lens a lot more efficiently. It's so much easier to handle smaller cameras and lenses. I've seen this scenario, I'm sure you've seen it before, someone handling a large DSLR with a large long lens and then suddenly the client wants to do a group photograph and you know 7200 you can't take a group photograph in a tight space and everyone's lined up ready, say there's like eight to ten people waiting and the photographer say oh wait I need to change lens hold on I got to put my, my, my bag on the table uh, then he slowly removed the 70 to 200 because it's so large and they're gonna put it down somewhere and then wait wait a minute I'm, I'm almost done and they take out the I don't know ultra wide angle say a 16 to 35 lens or uh, 14 to 28 I don't know one of the wide angle lenses and slowly attach to the camera and, all right yeah done okay 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 now everyone look here that's like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds of wait. For me, I can change lens just like that. Because I carry everything with me in my bag, I can just quickly detach the lens, throw it in an empty slot in the back, take out whatever lens that I want and slap it on. I can do that quickly. My turnaround time is just maybe three seconds or maybe four seconds or less. And because I've changed lenses so often, I can just hold the lens with one hand because the lens is so small, right? And I know where the button is, muscle memory, lenses are small, I can just chuck it in the back. Everything is so quick. If a client wants to take a photo, I say, two seconds, change, 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 change. All right, I'm ready. It allows me to be quicker, it allows me to be a lot more efficient. Handling smaller lenses is such a big joy. If you have not used it before, man, you are really missing out. If you think that these small lenses cannot perform, man, you should have a look at the images coming out from the Olympus 45 f1.8, 75 f1.8, 12 to 40 f2.8. These lenses, they do not perform less than any full frame lenses out there. If you cannot tell from this channel, the videos that I've made, I'm really passionate about photography and I do see myself doing photography in a long term. I have to start thinking about sustainability. 20, 30 years from now, am I able to pick up the camera and continue to do what I'm doing today? I want to continue doing my shutter therapy sessions. I want to go out and do street photography. I want to do some inside macro. I still want to do some paid jobs if possible, if there's still demand. I can't predict the future of photography, but I still want to shoot. And I have to think a little bit longer into the future. Now here's the problem. I did not start using mirrorless cameras. At that 
that time there was no mirrorless camera. I started with a DSLR. My main workhorse was the Olympus E5. Yes, Olympus E5, the four thirds format, is still smaller than say the equivalent full frame cameras at that time. Uh, I don't want to get into details, but the E5 was still significantly larger and heavier. I would say about twice or more the size and weight of say the current EM1 bodies today. Now, because it is so much heavier, I, also, I was also handling larger and heavier lenses. I was shooting weddings uh, for several years. At that time, I was still an engineer, so I did weddings in the weekends. We call ourselves the weekend warrior. So Saturday, Sunday, we did some weddings. And wedding shoots are really gruesome. Here in Malaysia, we start at 5 or 6 in the morning, and the shoot goes on all the way until midnight. <laughs> it's a full day shoot with very break in between. Yes, maybe in the afternoon we get like two to three hours off, but we have to be on our feet. We have to carry the camera full time. We have to use the camera long term. There's a difference between using a camera for a professional shoot versus using the camera just for fun. Because if you are just using it as a hobby, you can take the photograph for half an hour, put the camera down, decide to have a drink, or you can just have a two hour session and call it, it quits. But we cannot do that because our clients pay us and they have some expectations and we have to continue to capture those moments, right? So. Having used the DSLR, the Olympus system, I think I had the 50-200 f2.8 3.5. It was quite large and heavy as well. I was using the 11-22 to uh, with the E5, with the flash attached going around. Man, I actually developed some back problems after shooting for like three to four years. Yeah, my back actually hurt every single time after the shoot. Especially the morning after the shoot, it hurts so bad that it's hard for me to lift my, my hands, it's hard for me to move, I just don't want to do anything. And the back problem persisted. And you know what? Remember the story I talked about the first time I used the mirrorless camera for wedding? The first time I didn't use the E5, I picked up the EM5 because it's so small, it's so light. The morning after, I had zero pain on my back. There was no pain, no strain. I was amazed. <laughs> and I thought to myself, hey, if I can continue doing photography without all this pain, now I can actually turn this into a career and I can actually do this and really look into this more seriously. Of course, this happened like, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. This is way before I even joined Olympus. This was way before I decided to become a professional photographer full time. I was just a weekend warrior. But that moment, the first time I used a mirrorless camera, the EM5, small camera, small lens, right? I did not have any pain. And ever since I switched to EM1, I've embraced mirrorless fully. And after that, I have the EM1 Mark II, EM1 Mark III, and I've been using micro four thirds ever since. Zero back problem ever since. Going smaller and downsizing my cameras and lenses, that's the best decision ever in my photography career up to today. I can move a lot faster, I was more efficient, especially if I need to change lens. I don't have to pack ridiculously large luggage to my jobs, I can just bring a small bag. And the health benefits it brings, that alone is worth switching over to mirrorless or consider smaller cameras and lenses. Now I'm not talking about just Olympus cameras, I'm not just talking about micro four thread system. There are really small cameras, say from Fuji system, excellent, excellent Fuji system. Even the full frame mirrorless, the cameras are getting smaller and smaller and there are smaller lenses options out there today. You just have to pick and choose what works for you and your photography. I know that there is no small option for everything. Some lenses will still have to be large. Say that you are doing bird photography or shooting wildlife, you need that super telephoto lens. None of these lenses are small. I'm just thankful that I don't have to dive into that world. But I'm just saying if you have a chance or an alternative to go smaller, I think it's worth looking into.
That's all I have to share about why I love using smaller cameras and lens system in this video. Do you agree with my points or do you disagree with them? Do share your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you found my sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how I can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way, will definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.